Dividing by powers of 10 is a very similar process to multiplying by powers of 10. And if you had something like 670 and you wanted to divide that by 10, you could just consider this as, OK, I'm just going to take a 0 away and I get 67. OK, that seems reasonable. And if I had 8,300 and I want to divide that by 100, essentially I'm going to remove two zeros and I get left with 83. And if I have um, 6 million 500,000 and I want to divide that by 1,000, Essentially, I'm going to remove three zeros, and I'm going to be left with 6,500. OK? But just as it is with multiplication by powers of 10, essentially what's going on behind the scenes is we're moving that decimal point. OK? So let's focus our attention on that first example. 670 divided by 10. 670 can be written as 670.0, for example. OK? Now, when I divide by 10, I move the decimal point to the left. When I multiplied, I moved it to the right. When I divide, I move it to the left. And so I end up with 67. 0 .00, which is precisely the same as 67. OK? Let's look at another example. Let's say I've got 583, and I want to divide that by 100. Well, 583 is 583.0. So all I'm doing is I'm rewriting it just with a decimal point, and I've got to put a zero to the right, OK? We don't want to just write 583.1, point, point OK? So we want to write it at least like that. Now, dividing by 100 will move the decimal point two steps to the left, and so we will end up with 5.83, OK? Right, let's see another example. Let's say I've got 216.9 um, and I want to divide that by, um, let's say, let's just do 10. OK, just start off with 10. Now, if I want to divide by 10, it's just going to move that decimal point. It's already there, so I don't need to add anything in. It's going to move it one step to the left, and so I would end up with 21.693. OK, so it's pretty straightforward. Right, let's keep with the same number. And now I'm going to divide by 1,000. So because I'm dividing by 1,000, I need to move that decimal point three places. So one, two, three. Now, because the decimal point ends up here, I'm going to have point 21693. Now, some people like just writing point. I don't, personally. So I want to make sure that I write 0 0.21693. 21693. Okay? So that's the that's the better way. That can't be misunderstood. Okay, the decimal point can't be missed. Okay, right. So let's go one step further. 21693. So sorry, 216.93. We'll keep the same number. And this time I'm going to divide it by, let's go with um, a hundred thousand. OK, 100,000. So that means I need to move the decimal point five places to the left. So we're going to go one, two, three. Now, there's no other values here. So what I need to do is I need to add in a zero just as a placeholder. 
so that I've got one, two, three. I've already done three, so I need to do one more, okay? Ah, but I need to do five, so I need to do one more after that. So I'm going to need to add in another zero. Then my decimal point is going to end up here. So one, two, three, four, five. OK, so because my decimal point is there and I want to write it as zero point, so zero point, zero, zero, two, one, six, nine, three. OK, and so that is how we can deal with dividing by increasing powers of 10, OK, and adding in the zeros required to the right of the decimal point.